Welcome to Pastor's Chat today. Well, we're looking at Revelations chapter 8, and we're about to see the seven trumpets begin to sound. As we look back over these passages that we've already studied, we saw first that there was the seven sealed book in the hand of God that the Lamb of God, Jesus Christ, was able to take because He alone was worthy, and He began to open those seals. And when the first four seals were opened, you had the four horses that were uh, revealed, showing, we believe, the Antichrist coming to try to set up his fake uh, counterfeit kingdom. And the whole world follows after him, as we see in many other verses. And we might expound on this a little bit more later, as he is a key person in the tribulation period. And we see the judgments of God then begin to be released. But the seven seals are open, got the four horses. Then you have the fifth seal was the souls under the altar because Antichrist turns on those who won't worship him, especially the believers that get saved in the tribulation. And then you have the last sixth seal where there's a great earthquake. And then you hear the day of the Lord. And I just wanted to read this, verse 17 of chapter 6 for the great day of his wrath has come and who is able to stand and the it says the mighty men the captains the chief priests all these different people slaves every free man they're hiding in the caves and in the rocks and calling for them to fall upon them that's the preparation for the last three and a half years so i believe the first six seals are somewhat of the first three and a half years of the tribulation now i need to say this the sequence of the judgments and events in the book of revelation sometimes at least these for me are really hard. I like to read chronological, this happened here, this happened there, this happened next. And it's really difficult in the book of Revelation because there's some pauses, there's some parentheses, there's some fill-ins, and it's not always exactly uh, sure exactly what takes place then. And then you got some of the best Bible scholars and men of God who teach this, who disagree on some of these things. So it, it can be difficult. But the main thing to realize is that these things do happen. And so after the sixth seal, before the seventh, as the seventh seal is open, silence is in heaven. And I believe that that triggers what's going to take place in the great tribulation that Jesus talked about when the abomination of desolation takes place and you have the last three and a half years when literally, if I can put it this way, all hell breaks loose on planet Earth. And then you have these seven trumpets that begin to sound. Now the first four trumpets we see in verses 7 through 13 of chapter 8 are natural in, the, uh, in, the, in that they affect the land, the salt water, the fresh water, and the heavenly bodies. The fifth and the sixth judgment involve the release of demonic forces that the first torment and then kill. And then they first torment and then they kill. And then the last of the trumpet judgments, Revelation 11 verses 15 through 19, create a crisis among all the nations of the world. And so we see the first four trumpets are natural. And let's read about, at least begin to read about them. So the seven angels, and this is verse 6, who had the seven trumpets prepared themselves to sound. The first angel sounded, and hell and fire followed, mingled with blood, and they were thrown to the earth. And a third of the trees were burned up, and all the green grass was burned up. Then the second angel sounded, and something like a great mountain burning with fire was thrown into the sea, and a third of the sea became blood, and a third of the living creatures in the sea died, and a third of the ships were destroyed. So we see first the natural judgment that takes place, land, salt water, fresh water, heavenly bodies are affected by this judgment. And so we see that God's wrath now is being poured out on the earth. 
you know, people, the ecologists and these global warming uh, climate people today that claim it's the greatest problem the world has ever faced and crisis that we're facing. Well, my friend, when this tribulation starts, they're going to find out about global cooling and global warming because they will happen in these judgments and we'll see that in detail later. Well, listen, what we do is we prepare for Jesus to come. He's coming very, very soon. God bless and you have a wonderful, wonderful day.